Hello, very good morning to you and welcome to Kakaki Social. Addressing his colleagues before the adjournment motion was moved at the last meeting, President of the Senate, Gosil Akbabu, said money has been sent by Magaji Tambua, Clerk of the National Assembly, to the Senator to enjoy their holidays. He said that and then realized he shouldn't have said that into the mic, maybe when the senators shouted. And swiftly, he took back his words and said, oh, no, I mean, check your mailboxes. The Senate president has sent you prayers to keep you safe while you are away on recess. All of us to enjoy our holidays. A token has been sent to our various accounts by the by the clerk of the National Assembly. I will not. Uh, I withdraw that statement. In order to, uh, huh? in order to allow you to enjoy your holiday. The Senate President has sent prayers to your mailboxes. Uh, I sent prayers to your mailboxes to assist assist you to go on a safe journey and return. This Senate. Okay, now let's see some reaction. But I didn't know that yesterday Iriti from the Labour Party had an interview and she said she's checked her mailbox and she's yet to receive any mail. But she was advised to check her spam promotion and all of that. Maybe she would find one. Um, Balek's in reaction to this says, what do you expect? Most of them are there for the money. They have nothing to offer Nigeria. Recycling redundant leaders. And this user at Black says, well, it has always been this way from way back, just that he spoke out this time around. For Mohammed, at a time when the focus should be on addressing the challenges faced by citizens during this critical time, responsible decisions and actions are crucial. Prioritizing the well-being of the nation and its people should always be the top concern. But here we have our senators at the upper chamber sharing money. Nigeria. MJM says it's just pathetic how these men and women at the Senate are so insensitive. We have always talked about cutting cost of governance, but the, or both in executive and legislative arms of government, but no, the citizens are underrated. But for Akini Ekon, he says no now. He said he withdrew that statement and he corrected himself by saying Prayers have been sent to their mailboxes. Make when I leave this man, Jerry. Okay, we don't yet. So we leave it at that and move to our next story. Ahead of Thursday's ECOWAS Extraordinary Meeting, the 14th Emir of Kano State, that's uh, Muhammadu Sanusi, he says he met with the president yesterday to give him an account of what went down when he traveled to Niger yesterday to resolve their crisis. And this is coming after the junta aborted a meeting with representatives of the African Union, that's AU, the ECOWAS Community of West Africa States, ECOWAS, and a top U.S. diplomat. A delegation raised by ECOWAS could not broker peace with the military rulers as they declined a meeting. But on Wednesday, photos of Sanusi, whose um, sect has a large following in Niger, went into circulation. Let's take a listen to him now while he was at the presidential villa yesterday. Yes, I came to brief him on the details of my discussion with the leaders of, the, uh, um, of Niger. Interventions are ongoing and we'll continue to do our best to bring the two parties together to improve understanding. This is a time for public diplomacy. It's not a matter that we leave to governments. All Nigerians, all Nigerians need to be involved to find a solution that works for Africa, a solution that works for Niger, that works for Nigeria, and a solution that works for humanity. No, I'm not a government. I'm not, okay. I was not sent by the government. Okay. The government was, uh, government officials were aware I was going, but it was my personal initiative using my personal contacts to get there, and I will continue to do my best. It is my duty as all right, let's have some reactions to this. Issa says, this clearly shows that there are people whose advice can end the dispute between Niger and ECOWAS. Tinubu was in a haste to take all the decisions he made concerning Niger so far. Tinubu should sit and talk with likes of Sanusi. 
For most obedience, it says probably when our politicians book appointment there, the Nigerians check your past record prior to your arrival there. He's asking a question. And for Brass, it says he's the head of the Tijania sect, so they must respect him in Niger. Invariably, he's telling Asorok that they sent the wrong delegation. A laughing of Lagos says, can't wrap my head around as to why the military leaders met Lamido and not Sultan. Isn't that an insult? But responding to him is Niger Ninja who says that's because they are receiving sins, small, small. Not saying the Sultan was part of their initial grad grad. Okay, so taking it away from Sanusi now. And former military leader Sari Dokubo is confident that if the federal government gives him and his boys the go-ahead, they will go into Niger Republic, fight and defeat the junta. In a video on social media, Dokubo boasted that he and his boys have what it takes to win the military officers that overtook the Nigerian government. If the government commissioned me and my people to go to Niger Republic, we'll go, we'll defeat them, and we'll come back with terrorists. It's not a post. If the government commission us to go, if the Republic like, let them go and bring anybody, they are human beings, awake men, or lotu. They are human beings like us. We will go there, we will defeat them, and we will come back victorious, and we will restore democratic order in the Benin Republic. Okay, so we've used up our time, but just a reaction before we go. Frank of Port Harcourt says, whether you and your men can defeat them or not, we don't want to war. Make you and your men go defeat Boko Haram and other terrorist groups in Nigeria. Nigeria problem, big pass, all this war, and Mr. President won't go fight. Well, that's how we call it a day today on Kakaki Social. I'll see you again tomorrow when it will be happy hour. Good morning, Uncle. Good morning. I was just going to ask you when you're going on recess and uh, when your own money will hit your account. <laughs>